The business of pharma, the pharma business as far as IT is concerned, okay, is driven by three main pillars, the compliances, availability and the integrity part. These are very strong pillars and you know we just cannot kind of uh, go beyond this or you know we have to work within this framework and these are the actually the driving forces which help us decide any of the initiatives that we take in the IT. At NATCO we are in the process of this transformation okay and a lot of things are happening in terms of matching with the compliances in terms of matching with the you know ensuring the speed to catch up with the speed research side you know we have to provision a lot of things we are there are a lot of things that are happening on the software side you know today it is kind of all pervasive it is all across be it research manufacturing be it you know the distribution product distribution spread across the globe okay everywhere i think you know the I mean, today is the speed. The essence is speed. If you are in a position to convert a transaction into a very the turnaround time, if you can do it quickly, that's the success. We'll have to pick up the ones that are relevant to us. Okay, there are a lot of th things that are happening today. You have mobile things. You have the multiple operating systems that are coming up. You know, now it is like every everything has got a bit of IT in it, everything that you talk of, okay. All the other places, the technology can be accepted, you know, it can be absorbed. But when it comes to manufacturing, when it comes to the areas that are governed on the patient safety, etc., we have got to be very, very choosy in terms of the systems or the initiatives that are relevant and which are kind of, you know, reliable. This is very, very important. The reliability is the key and you know the consistency of the product, consistency of the outcome that is very important and this is the driving force for that. See the HCI deployment is you know necessity is the mother of innovation. So I would say that you know we wanted multiple servers and uh, if you look at it you know in terms of you know trying to you know, mix and match using different uh, products and deploy a thing. So, incidentally, or you know, during that time, you know, we were talking about, you know, and we were looking at evaluating this also. And this came handy to us. It helped us in kind of, you know, uh, provisioning servers quickly. And, you know, we had a single window to handle the complete thing. Uh, rather than, you know, handling with multiple vendors or multiple technologies, we could actually deploy it quickly as far as the hyper-converged infrastructure is concerned. When it comes to VDI, the virtual desktop infrastructure, the need was for our new greenfield project. And if we had to kind of, you know, deploy in the conventional manner, it would take time. And we would also be posed with problems at a later date in terms of the security, in terms of governance, in terms of maintenance and other aspects, okay. We have to operate within the framework in terms of ensuring that you know our data doesn't leak our data doesn't you know kind of gets backed up properly uh, this was very essential though. so the vdi also came in handy when we wanted to deploy at our green, new greenfield project the next two three years i mean if you ask me in terms of the initiatives or in terms of you know the uh, plans that we have is trying to kind of rejig our internal systems. The redeployment of some of our applications, okay. They're looking at uh, the van and the LAN optimization, okay. So I mean, it's actually kind of putting the house in, you know, in a, in a, uh, in the right shape so that, you know, we are in a position to kind of take the challenges for the future. Uh, the servers or the desktops need to have a kind of a clean image, okay? And uh, security is definitely a kind of a concern. Anything can happen anytime, okay? The viruses can come from the operating system itself, who knows? Okay, or there can be a bug, like recently, you know, the 
recent uh, revelation saying that you know Windows had its own bug. Okay, so it can happen anytime. So what we need is at any point of time, any kind of a attack or an incident, we are in a position to roll back to the previous good state. The previous good state is most important and the technology that can help us retain the previous good state with the minimum recovery point objective and the recovery time objective, I think that's, that's where the job is done. So security is definitely a concern and I don't think so there is a magic bullet which solves that issue.